It's a nice, quiet, beautiful fall Sunday morning. And I am uh, taking a hike along the river trail at the Little Coochie River. Okay, hiking 101. This is how you know you've got the trail to yourself is when you have to be the one to knock down the spider webs. So that's a good sign. I got the whole trail to myself. And it's a good thing. It's Sunday morning. A lot of ways walking in this in the wilderness is it's my church. It's my way to get away from the insanity of the world. You know, it's pretty sad. The world's collapsing all around us, and one of the top stories is Lamar Odom is visited by Chloe Kardashian. <laughs> I don't even know what a Lamar Odom is, and I certainly don't give a damn about any of the Kardashians, so. Uh, it's good to come here and have some sanity. Like my often quoted words, good medicine. Walking the trail here, and as you can see, everything's all torn up. The wild boars have gone hog wild. No pun intended, tearing everything up here. There's a lot of them out here. Wow. They really just torn up this trail. It's all dug up around here. Walking along the jungle-like trails that follow the Wittlacoochee River. It's very palmy, huge trees. Welcome to the jungle. Here's a cool thing about hiking in Florida is you can find some orange citrus trees in the woods. It goes all the way back to when the Spanish um, settled here and traded with the Indians and the Indians planted a lot of the uh, citrus trees and that's always a good sign that you know that there is some Native American activities when you see some of these citrus trees in the woods here because um, they definitely traded for things like that with the Spanish 500 years ago when Hernando de Soto and other conquistadors explored through here. This is an interesting channel that flows into the Wittlacoochee River. And if like usually, I love to get my feet wet and I love my wet trails. <laughs> this would definitely be something I would want to walk down and go all the way to the river, but I'm going to keep my shoes dry today. But I'll definitely come back and walk this wet trail in the future. You know, I'm really blessed. I have this, these preserves really close to home. They may not be majestic mountains or deserts or canyons and, um, you know, just amazingly beautiful places, even though this is a beautiful place. But 
it's nice to be able to come out here and have it all to yourself and just the sounds of nature. It really is, I know I say it all the time, good medicine. It's something that just clears your head and it's good stuff. No matter where you are, if you're in a desert region, you'll have a desert preserve. Or if you're in a mountain region, you'll have a mountain preserve. There's always something where you can go and reconnect. And with me, you know, it's mostly swamp and stuff, but that's good. I like, I like my swamps. I like my swamp hiking. I love to eventually go out and see some of the cool stuff some of my subscribers have, like out in the desert and the mountains and things like that out west. And one of these days, uh, hopefully I'll make it out there. But the often said quote, good medicine, good medicine. And as always, make sure you uh, sign in at the trailhead so people know what you're doing and if something happens, they'll know where to find you. Some interesting characters signed in today.